It is the, the intermodal or multimodal transportation is perhaps the best opportunity this region has to stimulate economic growth and to strengthen the region economically. Currently, uh, we're not doing too well as a region. At a global level, if you look at the global value chains linked to this, uh, we're not a significant exporter of goods uh, and also not a significant importer of goods and services. So uh, we are perhaps an underperforming regional economy and at, a, at an intra-regional level, we're not doing very well either. In fact, compared to other regions in the world, the EU or NAFTA or the ASEAN region or even the, the Middle East, North Africa region, you will see that SADC is at the moment, intra-regional trade in SADC is really sitting at about 16%. And we could be doing much more than that. And I think the essence of the, the input, the position paper is that if we can invest significantly over the next decade or so on infrastructure, building the infrastructure capabilities, building the human capital, uh, building the IT platforms, getting greater policy synergy uh, among the different countries in the region, we might be able to propel the region onto a new footing altogether. The issue is that there isn't compatibility of systems, there isn't integration of systems, and one really needs to begin to look at building and strengthening that and to see whether we can't um, get, get the investment, both from governments, from private sector within the region, but also from, from countries outside of the region, particularly the EU. There are significant possibilities for cooperation between the EU and the SADC region, both in terms of investment, but also in terms of training, skills development, managerial capabilities, IT platforms, uh, so that we can really lift the region up and so they become more com competitive um, globally. So in, in a nutshell then, I think we are really on poised at an important moment because I'm aware that all the rail authorities in the region have got some back office planning that is taking place, serious look at building the rail capacity of the region as a whole. There's a lot of technical work that is being done, and in the very near future, this will be made public. And the real opportunity arises for, for significant investment in rail, building the road networks both within countries and in the region as a whole. But then there are the softer infrastructure issues around the technology platforms, um, the, the power supply uh, that, that is necessary to propel uh, rail traffic in, in our region. 